Oh, well, they're starting to come out strong to this potent psychedelic, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sexy, uh, slender, uh, sax. Uh, she does a slow motion strip tease to turn on her big, older bitch, yeah. Before she puts, she puts to her lips the mouthpiece of her soprano and she just wails out a reggae tune. Woman. No cry. No more. Yeah, heart-wrenching, reedy. Yeah, Bob Marley, okay when you need him, huh? Gilded saxophone. It's hard to uh, overestimate what a virtuoso prodigy she is on the soprano. I mean, she could be big-time uh, jazz clubs, but no, she's a, she's a hippie dropout. She's going for the counterculture. She's just so good on that sax. Huh? And it is the key. It's going to open up the whole world for her. You know, and then after that, uh, Asafa goes down on her luscious cunt. She's a virtuoso, too, with her mouth. <laughs> dripping little pearl clip. Well, she's so protective, you know, to teenager. This goes into 69. And they both, yeah, they both have a good orgasm. It just uh, relaxes them, calms them, uh, their emotions. And then uh, saxophone looks at She's got her head in the lap of, uh, of the Amazon and uh, those pendulous breaths, yeah, strong, but yeah, mm -hmm. she, uh, she mock milks them, you know, like a hungry wolf cub uh, getting a tits up on uh, Mama Wolf there, huh? Mm -hmm. Mutual orgasm. Mm -hmm. Well... They appraise their situation, current life. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> Not in the fun sense of sucking. So, uh, well, Sophie pulls out that uh, travel section uh, from the Sunday New York Times. Huh? Saxophone, look at this. Huh? 99 packs. Puerto Rico, Caribbean. They agree. Time to split New York. Get out to the airport now. Well, just as well. I mean, the Colombians, uh, they're threatening to put uh, four... Uh, for the, their uh, gangsters uh, with machine guns at the entrance. Uh, you know, think of uh, Scarface, Al Pacino, the vibration, the violence. Uh, well, they, they, they got a cab out to LaGuardia, and uh, they used to have coin phones. So she rings up from one of those, box, you know, box things, and uh, she talks to the Colombians, and she says... Uh, I'm leaving the country, but thank you for the gig. You gave me time to uh, start up my life and uh, get my head together. And, uh, well, she hears laughed, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, with a Spanish accent on the other end of the phone. They're like, yeah, well, thank you, you know. Uh, oh, gracias, amigo, you know, <laughs> you know. Um, Fine, you know, good luck, you know, and uh, yeah, good vibrations all around. Well, uh, neither soft uh, saxophone, they've never been out of the United States, never, never flew off the mainland. Who do they know in Puerto Rico? Mm -mm. Nobody. 
Well, hand luggage, okay, uh, saxophone carries their soprano sax, and it's a small case, and uh, Sappho's got her tambourine, oh, it's a good gypsy one, huh? Double rows of chingy chingies all the way around, huh? And she's got a travel kit and a toothbrush in there, and, uh, uh, yeah, oh, sax, she's got a couple ounces of Colombian gold in her cotton panties, uh, she'll share her. Sappho's toothbrush, so oh, that burnished soprano Parisian saxophone. We're talking a Selmer Mark IV. You buy one of these used puppies, seven, eight thousand dollars. Well, uh, well, no worries about the pot in her panties because this is the 1960s. They didn't have metal detectors, and this isn't an international flight. This is not a serious airplane uh, adventure. Uh, there is absolutely no customs, no checks. You just, like, walk onto the airplane. Well, uh, what about the check-on luggage? Fuck that. They're out of here. Well, just a reminder, though, these New York, uh, hmm, daredevil dykes, they, they, they're still tripping their brains out. Two hits of acid each, they're just still, yeah, they come on after about an hour. Grab the soprano, grab a toothbrush, get a cab, and so they're still goo. <laughs> well, there is an intermediate stop in Washington, D.C. on the way to the San Juan International Airport. And uh, oh, here comes a bunch of uh, gray haired politicians on the plane, and they're so terrific that uh, on the uh, lysergic acid dithalamate that uh, Sappho sees right through them as chameleon vampires with fangs, driven with dead Viet Cong bodies, yeah, fake diplomatic smiles, El elegantly uh, coiffured hair, yeah, very expensive haircuts. Uh, Vietnam War, 1968. Devastating Indochina. Power mega killers. Need a swim in the Caribbean, you know. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Her premonition. Accurate. Uh, yeah. Power mega killers. So. Trophy wives, plastic wives. Traveling to the exclusive uh, St. John hideaway. We got security guards, video cameras. Uh, it's where uh, the president, the vice president, the cabinet, they go down to party down there. High, highest security in the Caribbean there. Well, it was a stopover. Five hours, New York, Puerto Rico. Oh. Uh, Jet. It's like a 737 banks over the uh, luxury beach strip, Isla Verde, right out of the airport region there. And they don't know it, but this is going to be a, a big uh, part of their life, this luxury tourist strip. <laughs> yeah. And though they step out of the plane and. Oh. Fresh. Clean, clear, tropical air from New York to this. Just like, yeah. Well, uh, I gave it simple. They walk out. I mean, they got no luggage. They walk out to the main road that crosses the north of Puerto Rico, and uh, San Juan's about 24 miles to the west, so, uh, look, they're risking everything, these women. They're, they're going with emotional female intuition. They're living on the fumes of blind faith. So they stick out their thumbs for a ride.